Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today's topic of discussion is watch what you let your friends and family put into your head about your relationship. Stay tuned. All right, so welcome back. If this is your very first time to I Love Me Me Me, make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. Also, if you like my content, you make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Now, moving on to today's content. Watch what you let your friends and family put into your head about your relationship. Seriously. One of the reasons why is because people love to give advice that they are not taking themselves. Like you have no idea what's going on behind closed doors in, in their own household. Um, for example, I was watching this movie. Now, I'm sure that this happens in real life, but I seen it on the movie um, where this lady was basically telling her friend how she was pissed off at her husband because she thought that he forgot her birthday. She's going on and on. The friend is like, oh, girl, you need to leave. You need to do this. You need to do that. Long story short, fast forward, the lady has now packed up her belongings she calls her friend to say okay girl i got all my stuff i'm about to leave out this house this is some some crap da, 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 right so the friend is like okay i'm with my husband i'm gonna call you back um you know just give me a moment well she forgets to hang up the phone the friend uh in the background she hears <laughs> the friend actually hears how her husband is basically dogging her all the way out talking about how he want to punch her how he want to smack her he about to do this he about to do that put her out da, 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 da. i mean just going ham on the girl the married woman was like oh she hung up like she never even said anything but she hung up the phone and she wouldn't unpack all of her stuff end of the story is her husband did not forget he wanted to surprise her with something else so again she giving all this information i'm excuse me she giving all of this advice that she's not taking herself like the other lady wasn't getting beat up, but she she was getting threatened to get beat up, and maybe she did get beat up. Who knows? Just saying. Just saying. The next thing is that misery loves company, especially if the person that is giving you this advice is not a happy person. Whether they're in a relationship or not, it just doesn't even matter. If they are not a happy person, they are going to give you the worst advice that you could take because misery loves company. Maybe she wants you to break up so now y'all can hang out like y'all was hanging out before. Maybe she feel like your boo then came in and took her spot. Just saying. Watch what she putting in your head or watch what he putting in your head. Uh, another thing is what occurs in your household may be worse in the other person's household. I mean, I already, came, I already gave you an example of that, but still, it might be worse. You might think that your situation is bad or something that you cannot deal with or you just don't want to deal with. And then you hear somebody else's story and you're like, oh, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> right? That's happened before. You hear somebody else's story and you're like, oh, my life is great. <laughs> All right, this next one I've actually seen occur before, which is they might be trying to break you and, her, you and him up so they can have them. Because you already told them all of the great and all of the bad. So they like, okay, I could deal with that. I could deal with that. Ooh, he do that. Or ooh, she do that. Trying to break you up. Little do you know, they've been on the back end. Somehow they got the number. Or maybe they uh, uh, inch they way in on social media. They start talking in the background. You never know about it. Talking about how I would treat you better. He sucks or she sucks. You shouldn't be with her. You shouldn't be with him. You should be with me. I'm going to treat you like queen. Dot, 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 dot. That happens. That happens. So they might be trying to break you up so they can get with him or her. Okay, so the next one is that they are jealous, basically. that That's really it. They are jealous that you have a man or have a girl, and they don't. They're just jealous that you have a good relationship. And whether it's good or bad, they're jealous because they don't have one. They don't have one to be in, let alone complain about. Or try to get advice about. The very last one is because they are just genuinely not your friend. They are a wolf in sheep's clothing. Think about it. Apply the information to your life. Just watch what you let your friends and family 
put into your head about your relationship because you're only giving them little specs or little um little insights into your life they're not there for the entire um, laying out of your life so yeah they're naturally going to be on your side because you're their friend or you're their family member and nobody wants their friend or family member to be treated some type of way right so naturally they're going to be on your side however if it's usually destructive you gotta watch them you gotta watch them love you guys deuces